Hello. Let's take a look today at setting up eHealth to manage and discover V3 targets. Natively, eHealth does not manage V3 at all. So we use a third-party product created by SNMPRI, which stands for SNMP Research International, and the product is called the DSSP, or Distributed SNMP Security Pack. The current version is 17.3. That version fixes a few bugs and offers Windows 2012 64-bit support. Um, so that might be important for you to get to that version if you're having a problem installing on 2012. Okay, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is actually installing the media. Um, a couple of prerequisites, very minor. They do request that you shut off um, SNMP and the SNMP trap service, and they should both be set to disabled as well as shut off. So we're going to go into services, and we'll sort by S. And we see the SNMP service is running and set to automatic. So we'll go into properties and we'll set that to manual. You could set it to disabled, but I don't think it's necessary for our needs. And stop it. And hit apply. And then for the trap service, we see that it's already on manual and it's already stopped. So we don't really have to do anything there. Um, and again, we have stopped the SNMP service, so we're all set. So the next thing to do is pretty basic. We just basically um, find the SNMP media. For me, it came in a, in a tar.gz file, which is basically a compressed, um, it's like a zip file. So it's a compressed zip file for the Unix platform. And I was able to open it using WinRAR. You could also open it from the command line using tar. Um, once you open it, you get a couple of quick start guides, and then you drill down into the media itself, and you'll see the different platforms. For me, we're going to do Windows. And there's really nothing in here but setup exe. Pretty basic. So we'll double click on that. <clears throat> and this really doesn't take very long. So we'll uh, accept the license agreement. And notice that eHealth is already selected here. In the previous versions, um, if you're going to do eHealth, you actually had to choose other. But here we see in the 17.3 that it, it um, is selected eHealth by default. We'll put it in the default folder. And it's ready to go. And as I said, it doesn't take very long, just a few moments. And we're pretty much done. Now, there are a couple of things that we need to do for additional configuration to make this ready to work with eHealth. The first thing we need to do is set the startup parameters so that it can handle the traffic that an SNMP environment typically generates. And we made a note here. So what we want to do is we want to get to a DOS window and we want to CD to the installer, SNMPRI, DSSP, BRASS, and then BIN. And then we're going to run this set of commands, which is going to basically um, reinstall the service with those parameters. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. We're going to find SNMP, DSSP, and if you remember from the install needed just a moment ago, it actually put it in Program Files x86. So, we'll drill into that. And it was in brass, and we want to be in bin. So, we'll just open a DOS window here. And then I put the command we want to run into buffer. So I'm just going to right click on my mouse and paste. And there's the command. So 
So you'll notice that it's telling us that Brasti is already installed, but instead it has updated the installed arguments, and that's what we wanted. So now we know that the install parameters or the startup parameters are exactly how we want it. So that's good. We'll minimize that. And the next thing we need to do is to set an environment variable that tells eHealth to use um, the SNMP DSSP proxy. So we're going to set the value of proxy address, and then it'll be the loopback 4747. So to do that, we need to go to this PC, Properties, Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables, System Variables are at the bottom. We're going to make a new one. And although I could type this out, just to be on the safe side, I'll uh, cut and paste it. And then double check it. Loopback colon 4747. Okay, so that's done. And that's pretty much it. It's basically just going to reboot. And once the system comes back up, um, the DSSP process will be running with the correct parameters. The environment variable will be set and read by eHealth. The reason we're calling a reboot is that although the operating system can read that variable on the fly, eHealth started up without it. And we want eHealth to restart so that it reads the system variable. So a quick reboot and the install is all done. And that's all there is to that. Thank you very much.